Greetings, Baby Einstein fans. This is Thomas Donegan. And today I'm going to do a comparison between the Baby Galileo Discovering the Sky 2003 DVD and the Baby Galileo Discovering the Sky 2004 DVD. Now, uh, suppose you went to Goodwill and you just so happened to come across these two DVDs and you're like, they look so similar. How will I know which Baby Galileo DVD is which? Have no fear about that because I will show you what's different and what's the same about these Baby Galileo DVDs. First, let's uh, look at the front. Uh, here's the Baby Einstein logo. Uh, here's the Baby Galileo title in a banner. And below the banner it says, Discovering the Sky. Now, you'll notice that the 2003 title is a bit wider than the 2004 title. While we're on the subject with the title, uh, the L's in the title are straight for 2003, and uh, the L's are curved for the 2004 title. And, uh, the description is the same. Twinkling stars and colorful planets, a musical odyssey. And, of course, they both have the Walt Disney Company logo. And, now, the pictures are different. Oh, 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 okay, wait a minute. They're not fully different. It's just that the backgrounds are different. We'll get to that in a few seconds. Uh, uh, here's Baby Galileo the kangaroo in his mother kangaroo's pouch, and he's uh, holding a telescope. And uh, here's the Saturn planet. And uh, for 2003, the Saturn looks kind of small and... For 2004, Saturn looks a little bigger. I, I could be wrong, but anyway, they both have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, they both have uh, six stars in the background. They're just... Uh, placed in different spots on each of them. And uh, the Earth planet be behind the kangaroos uh, look different on each of them. And uh, they're both for ages uh, nine months and up. For 2003, the age rate is placed up here in a small square. For 2004, the age rate is placed in a tr blue triangle down there. Whew! Front covers of Baby Galileo discovering the sky have more, a lot more differences than I would expect. Even more than Baby Mozart Music Festival 2003 and 2004 DVDs. You should check that video on my channel, by the way. Now that we've got the front out of the way, let's take a look at the back. Okay, on the back, they have the same pictures. Uh, two babies uh, looking at a Winkle mobile. That also appears in Baby Bach Musical Adventure. It's... It's another reason I like Baby Galileo. It kind of pays tribute to some of the visuals that have been in other Baby Einstein movies. Uh, anyways, uh, here's Baby Galileo in one of the puppet shows and uh, the introduction to the sun segment. And... Uh, the description is also the same. The only difference is the 
second paragraph in each of them. I'll read to you the first paragraph. Uh, Baby Galileo discovering the sky introduces babies and toddlers to the wonders in the sky above. The sun, the moon, fluffy clouds, shimmering stars, colorful planets, and whirling galaxies. The original and inspiring look at our universe will pique your baby's curiosity through spectacular images, colorful toys, engaging puppets, and beautiful music by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Frederick Chopin, Franz Schubert, Johann Strauss II, Peter Tchaikovsky, Claude Debussy, and even Ludwig von Beethoven. Now, I have to point out that the descriptions on each of them don't mention Debussy or Beethoven. I just added them because of the couple million times I've watched Baby Galileo discovering the sky in my life. But, and, 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 and also there are some nursery rhymes here and there. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, uh, here we are. For 2003, the uh, special features are placed down below the second paragraph of the description. For 2004, the, the special features are placed in a long green rectangle. And uh, here's something interesting. They both... Say 2003 release makes sense because it was originally released in 2003, and uh, and if there are some differences with the logos and symbols and all that. And that's the back. Now let's we'll go to the uh, spines. Okay, so the spines have more differences than what the Baby Mozart 2003 and 2004 DVDs have. At least because uh, of the titles with the L's, I already talked about that. And for 2003, it looks wider and the kangaroo is small and the 2000 Four looks a little shorter, and the kangaroo looks a bit uh, bigger. And so, and the guides, uh, oh, wait till you see them. I just have to get them out first. Uh, oh, this. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry, I had to get the mount. And uh, the fronts of the guides look is the same as the front covers, so won't spend too much time on that. So what's more important is that we look on the inside of the guides. Here's the 2003 guide. And the 2003 program guide has everything on it the the segments puppet shows songs and all that but the 2004 guide believe it or not is missing s some s songs well one song in particular and that's hey diddle diddle that plays in the Moon segment along with Claire de Lune by Debussy. Look. I mean, the 2003 has mentions that in the program, so why doesn't the 2004? And also, the 2004 guide does only lists the segments and 
not the puppet shows. I wonder why that is. Some of the music featured plus additional tracks is available on the Baby Galileo Concert for Little Ears music CD. They, they both say that. Uh, now I've lost my place. Where was I? Oh, right. The 2003 DVD has a DVD-ROM coloring book. I don't know if that works anymore. I mean, it, it could be d defunct, sadly. And I don't know because I've never tried it before. But the 2004 uh, DVD has language tracks. So, that, that's a good feature if you wanted to uh, study foreign languages. And uh, here are the backs of the guides. Not, they're, they all look the same, except the 2003 guide says copyright 2003. And the 2004 guide says, copyright 2004. How about that? No typos. Okay, so I'll put the guides back in and we'll look at the discs. Hold on a second. Okay, here are the discs. Not much differences with the disc. Now, they both have the Baby Einstein logo and the Baby Galileo Discovering the Sky title, the Disney DVD logo, and the running time. But if you look closely, the 2003 disc says copyright 2003, and uh, the 2004 disc says copyright 2004 and it has a rating symbol right here 2003 doesn't have that okay so now I'll put the discs back in and we'll wrap things up Okay, both of them together again. So, that's how you tell the difference between the 2003 and 2004 DVDs of Baby Galileo Discovering the Sky. A lot of differences to cover from both of them, believe it or not. Even more than the Baby Mozart DVD 2003 and 2004 DVDs. But, that's, well, they're both of them together again. Now, before I go, I wanted to give you some, you Baby Einstein fans, an update. I'm going to be doing something called Baby Einstein in July. This July, I will be reviewing some Baby Einstein movies. Note that I said some, not all of them because that would be impossible to do. I will be reviewing the movies from the classics era, so uh, stay tuned for that. Oh, I hope you enjoyed my comparison on the Baby Galileo DVDs, and I hope it did gets you more information on which DVD is which. This is Thomas Donigan saying bye for now.